Hey folks, if you're like me you've probably been waiting a good long while for the release of Zen 2 and if like me you're also grudging paying the very high prices for X570 you might be looking at something like a B450 or a X470 motherboard instead. So today we're simply going to take that B450M Steel Legend board from ASRock that we built in a few weeks back and upgrade the BIOS to support Zen 2 processors. Nice and simple, and in particular support the R5-3600, which looks to me to be one of those perfect balance gaming chips. So first things first, we're going to head over to the ASRock website, and what we're going to want to do is find our motherboard. Now this is simple enough, just go down the options on the left hand side and filter through until we find the motherboard that we're looking for. Here we've got the B450M Steel Legend. You're going to want to head to the Support tab and, funnily enough, BIOS. And you're going to want to download the latest BIOS for your motherboard. Now it's important at this stage, you're going to want to check that you don't need to install a previous BIOS before installing this one. Especially if you've got a version 1 BIOS for example. Once it's downloaded, you're going to want to put it on a USB stick. You're going to want to extract the folder and depending on how smart your motherboard is, you're going to want to take the file within that folder and have that as the only file on the USB drive. This will just avoid any confusion once you boot into your motherboard's BIOS. You can remove the rest of the files because all we need is that single file. It's now time to go into your motherboard BIOS and once we're in, you're going to have to go over to one of the tool sections. It's going to vary depending on motherboard manufacturer but they're all going to be called something similar, UEFI Update and Instant Flash here, we've clicked it, it's automatically found our USB drive and the file that we copied onto it. We're simply going to click Update and then sit back and relax. Now this could take a good few minutes, it could take up to 10 minutes and it's very important at this stage that you do not power off your machine. If you do so, chances are you're going to brick your motherboard which might be okay if you've got a dual BIOS board, but for most B450 boards especially, that's not an option, so you're just going to have to be patient. Now I'm using the Ryzen 2400G here, and if you're wanting to update an older board, chances are you're going to need a CPU with integrated graphics. Now thankfully at this point some of the older Athlon CPUs can be hard for under 20 quid used, and it's always handy to have a CPU with integrated graphics for troubleshooting in future. Once the BIOS has been updated, the computer is going to restart and you're eventually going to land up back on your desktop. Now it could cycle a few times, but again it's important just to let it do its thing. Now the next stage, once your motherboard BIOS has been updated to support the latest processors, you're going to install your CPU. Exactly the same way you installed your Ryzen 1st or 2nd gen CPU previously. There's nothing special about the Ryzen 3000 CPUs that mount exactly the same, just remember to add some thermal paste under that heatsink. Now I know this video is probably pointless for a lot of you, but there are going to be a few of you out there that are using this new CPU launch to get in on the low end and create yourself a really nice gaming system. Now I've been using the Ryzen 5 3600 for the last week or so, and let me tell you it is an absolutely cracking CPU if gaming is your focus. I'll just say take care for now. If you found this useful, give it a thumbs up, and let me know which CPU you have changed to from the Ryzen 3000 line. Take care, and I'll see you all in the comment section down below, and in the next video.